Hey guys, it's Sunday. I have been sort of in a tizzy, you know, all day. I I shot two videos and I deleted them. I did a get ready with me. I tried to do it all over again and I deleted them. They just came out so really, um, really bad, really bad. I've also been trying to go through my clothes for the wedding and my shoes and to make sure that I had, you know, everything that I felt comfortable with everything and uh, I'm getting nervous because I am the officiant of the ceremony and I'm still fine tuning the ceremony. So I want it to be perfect. And I'm afraid that I'm just gonna cry when I start to read the, the ceremony. And even though I wrote 90% of it, I want it, I just need to really, really memorize it better, you know, recite it better. And I need to somehow be able to control Sorry, I keep looking. I'm not used to this new vlogging camera. I keep looking over here instead of here. But um, I'm just like so afraid I'm going to start to cry. It's, and I, you know, I don't want to cry. So happy Sunday, guys. Um, this is the wedding week. Tomorrow night I have a hair appointment. Tomorrow morning, Monday morning, I go for my annual physical and my blood work and all that. I did have my mammogram done last week. That came back good, so I'm really relieved about that. I don't know about my bone density yet. I haven't heard. But I'll probably find out tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow night's my hairdressers. Tuesday, I'm working remotely out of Portsmouth because I'm teaching up there. Wednesday, I'm back in Londonderry. Wednesday night, I have a pedicure and a manicure with my mother. And um, she's probably just going to have a manicure, but I'm hoping she has a pedi. She, I've never had a pedi in her life, and I think it'd be kind of cool for her to do that. So, that's the scoop, guys. Hey, guys. Happy Tuesday. It is actually the 20, the 25th. And I did go to the hairdressers last night, and she had my roots and touched up, cut cut me some longer layers. And and I, I like it. I like, my hair is, she did a few highlights, not a whole lot, because I still have a lot of summer blonde in my hair. Winter, my hair is usually darker, so maybe she'll do some some low lights or something at one point but woke up this morning 63 degrees inside the house not fun and then this weekend i know you know i've been talking about the wedding when i come home tonight i'm more, i'm heading to portsmouth to teach and then i'm going to go do a um part of a home inspection on a house you know for my son and so i'm going to relieve jay he's going to do the first part i'm going to do the second part and i'm really excited about the opportunity for my son hopefully it'll go through and it'll be good but when i come home tonight depending if it's early enough maybe i'll try on some of my uh, my two outfits because i have an outfit for friday night rehearsal dinner and then i have an outfit for saturday and uh, the wedding is saturday so friday night rehearsal dinners i really love the top it's sort of like really fun you know type of top and i probably will just kind of twist my hair up on friday wear it you know kind of very more different Sunday, I think I'm going to try to do a bunch of curls and then pin it up a little bit in areas and then I have like these little rhinestone accents that my hairdresser gave me that you kind of like almost like a little like a little corkscrew you kind of like screw it into here so I was thinking of just pinning parts of my hair up and you know when wearing it up like that for the wedding on Saturday. Saturday is going to be really fun. The wedding is on top of the mountain. I know I've mentioned before we have to take a gondola or gondola ride up there. And the rehearsal dinner on Friday is on top of the mountain too. And um, Sunday we're going to do zip lining. <laughs> if I don't chicken out. So, um, so that's the plan. So if I get home early enough, I might set up the camera. I might try on my outfit, see how they fit. And uh, I won't have my hair fixed or anything, but if I do that, I'll, I'll film some of it and then just add it into this clip. I am not too sure. I think I'm going to try to publish this before we go away because it'll get too long if I start to add wedding weekend clips and all that. So that's the plan so far. We'll see what I do tonight and I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I, um, I just got home. It's like 5.44. I got caught out in the rain uh, at a home inspection and it you know, just took a lot longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, cause I wanna try on my, my, um, my wedding outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on my wedding outfits. These are the baggy, um, the wide leg pants. Of course I'll put my hair up and fix my makeup, but I'm, I'm really liking this top. 
do. Let me show you the earrings. These are the earrings that I want to wear with this top. Aren't they pretty? And I wasn't going to wear a necklace because I think this is glitterly enough. So that's those earrings. And uh, yeah, I'm really not. I don't know if I should turn this light on. So this is for the rehearsal dinner. I, mean, I think it'll be okay. What do you think? I love these earrings. These are so pretty. Oops. These are more money than I wanted to spend, but they're really, really pretty. So I just think, but you know, I'll take, I'm going to take this necklace off. So no necklace, but I just think with these earrings, with, with all the really nice rhinestones and then the two cultured pearl drops, I think that'll be enough. You know, I really do. So this is the the wedding day outfit. Um, you know, again, I'm officiating the ceremony, so I want it to be, I want it to look nice, but I also, you know, want it to be more, I always worry about wearing black at weddings, but I don't think that really much matters nowadays. So, you know, want it to look nice, but I didn't want to be over the top because when I'm standing up there, I get the bride and the groom in front of me, and then I have everyone watching me as I am, you know, performing the ceremony. And I wrote most of the service with, you know, not the vows, they did their own vows, but the most of the service, and then they tweaked it a little bit. So it's gonna be really very much custom. So this, I love the, the detail on the jacket. This is just basically, you know, very light, material and um, and really pretty and I think the skirt is really pretty. I'm gonna have my toes done tomorrow so let me just hold up my shoes. These are the ones I think I've shown. So these are the ones I'm planning on wearing. Hopefully I can survive them. <laughs> I don't know. But that's the scoop on what I was wearing for shoes and what I was wearing for my outfit. So I, I kind of feel funny. I'm in my kitchen and you know, as you can see, it's, it's the only space I could think of where I could maybe show you a little bit of what this looks like. So, and as a backup for my hair, if those little twisty things don't work and I really can't curl my hair nicely, I do have this pretty comb. This is a really nice little fancy dressy comb. I bought all of this off of Amazon, so, and this state has stayed in my hair so far, so who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But, but that's the scoop, guys, you know, that's the outfit, so the plan is, and I think I already mentioned that this is about a three-hour ride, so we're going to leave really super early on Friday morning with my mom and dad. I'm going to pick them up, and we're hoping to get up there you know, maybe around noontime or 11 o'clock, depending on how many stops we make. We're staying in a two bedroom suite, so to speak, or like unit, you know, and then Justin, my Jason, Justin is going to already be there because he's arriving on Thursday. We're not getting up there till Friday. It's, it's, I just think it's going to be a blast and I'm very much looking forward to it. I really am. And just to have the, the, our three boys together with their significant others and wife. It's just gonna be really touching because we've not ever had all three of the boys with their, their you know, people in their life. Because my youngest son, Michael's married. So my daughter-in-law, Dina, will be there and Michael. And then my oldest son, Marty, has a girlfriend. And we've met her this year and we're getting to really know her. I really like her a lot. And then my stepson, Justin, and we've met her. We've been, you know, together. They came out here this summer. We went to meet them for a baseball game. I like all the women in my son's and stepson's lives, and I think that's really awesome. And for all of us to be together with my mother and father, which are the grandparents, I just think it's super special. And my sister and all her three daughters will be here. And there, you know, two of her daughters are already married. One has a baby. So the whole, the whole family is going to be together. And 
the marriage, the ceremony is going to take place on the top of Sunday River in Maine. Uh, we're going to take the gondola right up to the top and the ceremony is Saturday afternoon. But I'm hoping that, you know, the sun will be somewhat in a different position in the sky so we can take some really awesome pictures. And it's just going to be super, super special. And I think I mentioned that on Sunday, I'm doing a zip line and Jay's going to do the zip line too. So I, it's just going to be really super awesome. I know many of you have asked to see what I'm going to be wearing, you know, if I would share that. And so, you know, I've, hopefully this will see the light of day. I did do the get ready with me and I didn't publish it. I actually did it twice. The second time, the next day I refilmed it. And the problem is, is I just don't have the right position for the tripod in the camera. So half the time, you know, I'm like this. And then, uh, then you know what I mean? So then I'm like down and you're getting a bullseye view of the, of the top of my head, which is not the best view anyways. <laughs> but so, and then I was like, oh, how can I do that? And I was like talking a mile a minute through most of it. And I'm like, you know, going from one theme to another, to another topic. And, and I had a little vent. <laughs> I really shouldn't record myself when I vent. But it was like just one thing after another. So I will try another get ready with me, but I have to master the position of this camera, like right now, and also a mirror so I can see, cause you know, cause I, I can't really go that close to look in the viewfinder thing to see. But, you know, until I master that, I just, I just, um, I don't know. And plus, I, I, I stink at get readies with me. It's not my strong point. You know, I'm not a, I'm not, a, you know, I'm learning. So, you know, I, I don't really know yet fully everything of what I'm doing. So I'm just experimenting with my eyes, with my makeup. Like right now, you're seeing me at the end of a very long day. I got caught in the rain. My hair is bone straight. Even though I went to the hairdressers last night, it looked really good when it was fixed. But when I got caught in the rain, it just, everything went flat. So you're seeing me at my worst. The end of the day, most of my makeup is gone. I just put a little lipstick on. I don't even know how that looks, but I just wanted to, I, I guess I wanted to do a little model for you. So be gentle on me. Yes, I'm overweight. Uh, yes, you know, I'm an old lady, but uh, I'm trying and, uh, and, you know, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to, to, you know, take off some pounds and I just hate the idea of having to decide between my bum and my face. But the more weight you lose, the more your face falls, you know, kind of catches up to your rear end. So I just think that's so unfair. Oh, and another thing. I have a, um, this, if this, if I publish this abbreviated vlog with nothing exciting except a few clips, we are leaving on, I might publish this tomorrow, Wednesday night, if I get it edited, because tomorrow night I'm going to my nail salon and all that, but I am not going to probably be really good at answering any comments over the weekend because I'm gonna be super, super busy. So if this goes public Wednesday, I'll have some of Thursday to answer, but if it goes public Thursday, Friday morning, we're gone. And so there's not gonna be an opportunity. And I also wanna tell you, I appreciate all your comments on my previous video uh, about in with the Blink giveaway. I am loving the Blink. Right now I have one coat of mascara on my eyes. When I do two coats and I really go for it, my lashes are like, wow. So I'm really loving the results I'm getting from the Blink. Is it the same as CarePros? Yes. So, you know, if you prefer CarePros, go for it. The only difference that I've seen between CarePros and the Blink for me, and this may never happen to you, it may not be anything you ever see because all our, you know, we all re react to things differently. But my natural eyelashes, when I have taken all my, my mascara off and everything, my natural eyelashes have gotten darker and that, is the biggest difference that I've noticed. Other than that, the growth, the thickness, you know, seems to be the same, but I have naturally darker lashes without mascara, and that kind of blows me away because I've never, ever really had that. So I think that's really, um, really cool. So, yeah, I wonder now if I should have gotten. I did see a really thin kind of like rhinestone. I'm looking at my, my, thing, my neck, and I'm thinking when this is gone, do you think it's too bare? But you gotta remember, I'm gonna have, 
I'm gonna have really pretty earrings on. So I thought the earrings, I thought that would be just fine without a necklace. <laughs> so anyways guys, if there's more to this, it'll be just a little glimpse of my mom and I getting, you know, whatever, you usually can't film in the nail salon, so probably won't be adding any. But if there is, you'll see that. But if not, I just want to say thank you all so much for your support, your understanding. Please be sure to thumbs up the video and leave me a comment, and I will get back to you at one point. And next week, I have a collab, sort of a collab. It's sort of a retrospective is that the right word it's it's four of us getting together and talking about diets and diets after 50 you know can you do it what are our struggles you know it's it's I shared my ups and downs with you in that video and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything you know I, I still struggle with my diet so that video is all about diets and now I am signing off. So see you later guys. Thanks so much. Catch you later. Bye.